The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the Ola 7 podcast show. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello guys, welcome to Genius Kids, a program where we spotlight extraordinary young kids who are doing the most out there and doing exceptional work in, in their various fields. With three impressive titles to her name, she's a true rising star in the world of entertainment. Today, my guest is all the way from Kuoblawayo. Her name is Chanel Matanere, also known as Bainana. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, Chanel, which school do you go to and what grade are you in? I go to Rebecca Girl Primary School and I'm in grade 4. So that means you're about 9. How old are you? 9 years. Who's your favorite teacher? Miss Murumbo. Ah, uh, why? Because she teaches us many subjects that we love. Alright. Uh, do you have any friends at school? Yes. Who are they? Do you want to say hi to them? Yeah. Say hi to your friends. Hi. Mention them by names. Gabriela, Neliswa, Namtenda, and Ayende. Okay. And what is your favorite subject at school? Maths. Mm, why do you like maths? Because it's easy. Maths is easy? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Guys, she says maths is easy. I don't know how many of you agree out there. And which position are you in in your family? Are you the first born or the last born? Last. Ah, so your mommy's favorite. Mm-hmm. Does your family support your talent? Yes. Okay. So I understand you're into modeling and you have three titles. Do you want to tell us the names of your titles? No. Why not? Um, I don't know. You don't know your, the names of your titles? I may. I know. But please tell us. Okay. Um, I'm the Mini Miss International Zimbabwe and I'm the... Um, I'm the Little Miss International Intellect Zimbabwe 2023. Ah, well done. There's so many titles. And what made you want to start modeling? When I was a child, I loved modeling, mm -hmm. taking pictures. That inspired me to do modeling. You liked <coughs> taking pictures as a child. Do you still like taking pictures? Yeah. So we'll take one after the show, hey? Yes. Okay. So who's your favorite model in the industry? Tama and Auntie Jemima. <coughs> Auntie Jemima, is she the one who's here? No. Okay, so let's say shout out to Auntie Jemima. Uh, what do you enjoy most about modeling? I'm taking pictures and being the queen. Ah, you enjoy being the queen? Yeah. You enjoy your crown. That's a nice crown, by the way. Thank you. You're welcome. So how do you practice for your pageants? What do you do when you're preparing for a competition? I go to practice... And doing my speeches. All right. <coughs> so we are with Bainana Chanel Matanire, who is a <coughs> model, and she's already acting. Uh, we're just talking about her journey in the modeling industry. So what has been the most exciting pageant for you? Um, the mini, the Mr. and Miss Africa. Ah, okay. Did you win that one? Yes. So your mini Miss Africa. Yeah. Ah, we have a queen in the house. Okay, so what does having that title mean? Miss Africa. What does that mean? It means a lot for me. Okay, what does it mean for you? It means that I'm the queen. You're the and queen? it makes me feel like happy. Okay, does it make you feel beautiful? Yes. You are very beautiful, my girl. Right. So this year you were crowned Miss International Zimbabwe. Uh, and you won this title in a row. Do you want to share us your secrets? How do you, how do you win all these titles? Um, by modeling mm -hmm. and doing my speeches well without stopping. Oh, you do speeches? Yeah. Okay. So 
when you go for a competition, what exactly happens there? Do you just wear nice clothes and look pretty? What happens at a modeling competition? Um, you wear clothes, mm -hmm. do correct things, mm -hmm. and wait where there's full stops on your speeches. Okay, so who writes your speeches for you? My grandfather. Your grandfather. Thank you, grandfather, for writing Chanel's speeches. So, can you tell me what does it mean for you? What are you doing with your titles in the community? Are you doing any community work? Yes. Yeah, what are you doing? Helping the needy and, and adopting pets. You are donating pets. Yes. That's so nice of you. Okay. So, can you tell me what you think about what you think about staying in school and avoiding early marriages? Um, I think that it helps us to first think before we get married. All right. And what else? That's all I know. Okay. So, I heard that you also advocate against child marriages. What inspired you to start talking about child marriages? Because I saw many kids, I heard about many kids getting early marriages, including my mom. Okay. How old was your mom when she got married? 16. Okay. All right. That's interesting. So your mom inspired you? Yeah. All right. What do you think is the biggest challenge children face when they're married young? They drop out of school and, and perform the wifery duties and during pregnancy they can they could die oh yes i know there was a story that happened in blawayo sometime maybe two years ago where an eight-year-old girl got pregnant and do you know that story no okay sorry <laughs> all right so how do you spread awareness about issues related to child marriages by using social media platforms sometimes going to churches schools and other more places so what will you be doing on social media telling them that child marriage is not about just you can you lose your future but during pregnancy you could die during pregnancy you could die okay yeah. uh what do you think is the most important thing people should know about child marriages during pregnancy they could die all right interesting for those just joining us, it is the Genius Kids, and we are with a model and an actor. She is making waves in the industry. Her name is Chanel Matanire, also known as Bainana. We're just talking about her journey in the modeling industry and getting her to know better. She says she likes <coughs> maths, she likes numbers, and pensions make her feel like a queen, and she likes being a queen. So how do you talk to other kids in school? about avoiding early marriages during assemble i go in front and tell them that you should avoid early marriages because you can lose your future okay so assembly don't lose your future don't get married early eh so unokwanisere kumbo tuza shumesha unova uza kana washika pa assembly um i don't remember some things but just, just remember a little bit. Just say something. Okay. The girl's health is threatened by STIs and during pregnancy could die. Um, it's... Um, you drop out of school and become a wife mm -hmm. and your husband could uh, sexually abuse you. All right. That's, that's, that's very smart. You're a very bri brilliant girl. So I, I heard that you're also into acting. What do you love most about acting? Crying emotional. You like crying. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's crying, guys. <laughs> Who's your favorite actor? Marlin. 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 Marlin, I don't know her. I can act at you. I can act, but the acting name was Marlin too. Oh, okay. And what's your favorite movie or maybe drama? Um, Lost in Love. Lost in Love. I've never watched it. You know, do you want to go to the Life. 
star life. So guys, and I'm known I lost in love for star life. Um, do you have a role model? Yes. Who's your role model? Tama and Auntie Jemima. Alright, and what what is it about those guys that makes you say good? They are really brilliant. Um, they know they're smart. They're smart. They know everything. Yeah. They know everything. Yes. Do you think one day you also know everything? Yeah. How are you going to make sure that by the time you get to Auntie Jemima's age, you also know everything? By learning. Mm, by learning. By going to school. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, what kind of stories or plays do you enjoy performing in? Um, early marriages. You like talking about early marriages. Yeah. I see you're very passionate about this early marriages business. All right. Um, how do you prepare when you're going to act? Let's say you have a new role. How do you prepare for this new role? Let's say right now we want you to act as an old magogo. We want you to act like an old lady. How would you prepare for that? I got to act in classes. So you act in classes? What happens in acting classes? I've never been to an acting class. My mom is still preparing for it. Your mom is the one who prepares you for it? Yeah. So your mom is your manager? Mm -hmm. Do you want to say hi to me? Just say hi to your mom. Hi. All right. Thank you so much, mom, for sending Benana to see me here. All right. Uh, have you ever performed in, in front of a big audience? Yeah. When? In pageants. Yeah, in pageants. And when was your last pageant? The Mr. and Miss Africa. Mr. and Miss Africa. Yes. That was your last pageant. When was that? This year. This year. Pawato mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what is the most challenging part about modeling for you? Apana Chanoti, modeling is not there is. What, what makes, what is difficult for you? Being live. Being live. It makes you shy. What do you, what do you, what, make, what, what is it about being live that makes you say, this is hard? I feel like crying. You feel like crying? Yeah. So what do you do so that you don't cry? Um, I sit with, with anyone who can hold my hand and say that he can do it. So who holds your hands and says, Shay Nana, you can do it? My mom or my grandpa? Oh, your grandpa. So when you start acting later in life, do you want to act movies? Do you want to be in a play? Or you want to do series? What kind of acting do you want to do? Series. You want to do series. Do you watch series? Yeah. What's your favorite series? Um, it's called Soulmates. Soulmates. I'm guessing from Star Life? Yes. <laughs> okay, she's a Star Life girl. Um, are there any new skills or techniques you want to learn or improve in your acting? Um, techniques. Sorry? Techniques. Yes. What techniques do you want to improve when acting? Um, any. Any. Okay. All right. Kanam Chinzi, when you're acting, what is it exactly that you love about acting? Crying. Oh, you love crying. That's the only thing you love about crying. Mm-hmm. Why do you like crying? Because I was born crying. You were born crying. <laughs> we were all born crying. Okay, so what advice would you give to someone who says, Ah, I want to be like Bay Nana. I want to do modeling. I want to do acting. I also want to feel like a queen. What advice would you give them? Like? For example, I, wa I also want to be like you. I want to start modeling. I want to start acting. And I want to wear a crown like you. I want to feel pretty and wear a sash like you have. Like, what, what would you tell me to do? Start doing modeling practice. Mm -hmm. But you do not start by making things, doing all that thing. Okay. So how do I practice modeling? You start by walking. I start by walking. Yeah. So I have to practice walking. What do you mean by walking? Because I'm already walking. Like I walk, but maybe I'm not doing it the right way. Like a, like a model. model. Yeah. Okay. So that panika kakam fambro kamno itaka kai karam chimote la kanon sichi. Catwalk. The catwalk. Exactly. That's the word I was looking for. So I should practice my catwalk. Yeah. 
So do you want to tell me how I, how I, do the, uh, how I should do the catwalk? I don't really know. You don't really know. So how did you learn? Nicely. I, I, who, who taught you to do the catwalk? Um, my mom. Mm. My mom started with that word. Is your mom a model? No. Okay, but she taught you how to do the catwalk. Yeah. What of? <coughs> sorry. What of Aunt Jemima? Is she a model? Yeah. Does she also teach you how to catwalk? Mm-hmm. So, how many times a day or a week do you practice your catwalk? Two times. Two times a day? No. Two times a week. When? Um, after school. After school. Okay. That's on Saturday and Sunday. Mm-hmm. All right. So you also go to school and do beauty pageants and you're also practicing your catwalk and you also have to make sure your hair is nice and you're looking pretty. So I should you from say you know so no so can say that you have to go to a catwalk. Yeah. No. What do you say? I first go to school mm-hmm. and then go to practice uh-huh. and then I'm going to write my homework. Then you're going to write your homework. You also told me when we were backstage that you like dancing. Yeah. Are you a good dancer? No. <laughs> but you just like it. Yeah. So what's your favorite song to dance to? Um, Fire emojis. Fire emojis. Fire emojis. <laughs> I love that one as well. What other song do you like? Bastrata, Kilimama Tata. Bastrata, Bastrata. That's an Ama Piano song. Can you do the whole uh, uh, the Ama Piano dance? No. <laughs> I'm going to teach you after the show. So, what is your favorite book? Um, it's The Rat and the Lion. The Rat and the Lion. What does The Rat and the <coughs> Lion talk about? They talk about helping each other, mm-hmm. um, having ideas. Having ideas. So you like helping others? Yeah. You have brilliant ideas. Mm. Tell me, do you have a baby one 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 I I think about some points mm-hmm. to put on my speech. Okay. So pakem <laughs> chibatsira na na sekura ba kunyo ra speech uchi yofunga ma ma points cuz you say it's the book is about ideas. Ndi hapi ma ma idea unengo chuta grandpa kuti write this one pane e idea. As in when we are speaking about our country I could say you see we can add something like Victoria Falls and make a sentence. Have you been to the Victoria Falls? Yeah. How is it? How did you find How was it going to the Victoria Falls? It was great. It was great. What did you like most in Victoria Falls? The water. The hot the water. You liked the sound that the water was making? Mm-hmm. You liked how it was falling down. All right. Um if you're just joining us, it is the Genius Kids and tonight we are hosting a whiz kid who's making waves in the modeling industry. She's also an actress. She also says <coughs> she's a mass genius. Her name is Chanel Matanire. She comes all the way from Koblawayo just to sit with me here tonight. So, Chanel, what other things do you do in your free time? I play with my friends. Mm-hmm. Sometimes read. Sometimes you <coughs> read. Uh, how many books have you read so far? Um, this week... Yes, this week. No. This week you didn't read. Why? Because I didn't ha- I in her I didn't come with my textbooks. Oh. Uh, okay. So you left your textbooks at home. Yeah. All right. <coughs> you also like playing netball? Yeah. Uh what do you like most about playing netball? Being a defender. So you're a defender. Yeah. So a defender ninga chance to return your baby. As in kuti muna chida kukuisa, nopwa bata bura, asa takuwa. Saka, ndo kuma kumaga, tisho. Oh, saka yo, unungo chumega shwati, the other team is kukuweza. Unungo chita say, how do you make sure kuti muna asku so kukuweza? There will be um, a thing. The net? To, yeah, to go. Uh-huh. And then, but I'll target the ball. And when the ball is coming direct to the net, I close the place that the ball wants to come. Mm-hmm. 
and then I touched the ball. I also played netball <coughs> at some time. I played center, so I would pass the ball to the goalie so that they shoot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is the best part about being part of a netball team? Um, I don't know. You, you don't? Are you part of a netball team? Yeah. Okay, and how Practicing. Many? You like practicing with the other guys? <coughs> Do you have friends from your netball team? Yeah. So you like playing with your friends? Mm -hmm. Do you do competitions? Do you go for matches in netball? No. Okay. It's just something you do in your free time? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, I, I heard that you're also a ballet dancer. Yes. So you can stand on your toes? Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you like? Why, 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 why do you like dancing? Ballet dancing? Doing the splits. You like doing Can you do a split <laughs> right now? No, I'm still <laughs> learning. You're still learning how to do the split. Okay. Mm. Have you ever done a ballet recital or a ballet show? A ballet show. Okay. Uh, what did you do at the ballet show? Dancing. You danced? With your toes. What color was mm. your tutu? What is it called? The tutu dress? Yeah. What color was your tutu dress? Purple. And so my shoes were peach. Were you wearing your crown as well? I don't know. Do you do you carry your crown everywhere you go? No. Okay. Wh when do you wear your crown? Um, interviews. Mm -hmm. Um, compi not competitions like other things that you need to carry your, your crown. Okay. So I see that you're wearing a sash. Do you just want to lift it up so that people at home can see what your sash says? Yeah. Just lift it up a bit. So that people can uh. see what the sash says. So it says Mini International 2023. Yeah. Ah. 2024. 2024. So you won this one recently? Yeah. Okay. Well done, girl. So how many of these do, do you have? Um, I have three. Oh, you have three. And where do you keep them? Home. I know, gotta buy. <coughs> do, do, do you display them so that everyone who visits you says... <laughs> yeah, I pl place them. You display them. Anangari pai, anangari dining. No, bedroom. In your bedroom. So you see them every night before you sleep. Mm -hmm. So when you see your your sashes, unungochins wakuita se, unungochins se. Like wearing them mm -hmm. and feeling like you are going to a competition. Oh, saga sesh no fe kwakana shaita se, unungo fe kwafti, no fe kwakuma competition shaita. No. Important vacations that the, the, the session, the crown might need to be there. Oh, so the <laughs> sesh and the crown go together. Yeah. So you can't wear one without the other. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. I see. So do you have any role models or people who inspire you in the ballet, dancing or any dancers that you know? I have a role model. Oh, who's your role model? Tama and Jemima. Tama and Jemima keep coming up. Shout out to you, Tama and Jemima, for inspiring this beautiful young lady here. So let's talk a little bit about some things. Um, tell me about the other things that you do besides acting and modeling and ballet. Netball. Uh, we talked about netball. Is there anything else? No. Okay. So I heard you say that your mom is the one who manages you. <coughs> yes. yes. Do you want to say something to your mom when she's watching this? Send a message to your mom. Thank you, mom, for making me this far. Oh, thank you, mom, for taking her this far. And grandpa? Thank you for making me these lovely speeches that made me win. Thank you so much, grandpa. And you're from... <coughs> I've only been to Blawayo like once. What is the best part about living in Blawayo? Um, in the town. Uh -huh. You live in town? Yeah. Yeah. So <coughs> what's your favorite part about the town of Blawayo? It's the where, where there's the statue of Joshua Nkomo. Ah, Papa Joshua Nkomo. Why do you like, what do you know about Joshua Nkomo? Can you tell us a bit about Joshua Nkomo? He was the, as in the vice president mm -hmm. and the soldier. Uh, so, in any angle, Semona can go to Blawayo, Kawan. Can I go to Blawayo and the Kupu Kumwe Wandufana Kuyent? 
the size statue ya Joshua Nkomo ndikupo kwa nfana kuna ona as in as in as in that when i go to blawayo i want to come visit you in blawayo which other places are we going to see we will still see the statue of Joshua Nkomo no. and what else Victor Falls um Chinoy Caves Great Zimbabwe um and many other and many others <coughs> Okay. So is there anything that you want to say to people who are watching this? People who are at home, is there any words that you might want to tell them? Um no more words. You don't have any words. Okay, guys, she doesn't have any words. <laughs> right. Uh thank you so much for joining us on the Genius Kids today. We had the pleasure of meeting a remarkable young talent, Chanel Matanire, also known as Bay Nana, who excels in modeling, acting, ballet, and netball. She also tells me she enjoys <laughs> mathematics very much. Her passion and dedication is truly inspiring. She's only nine years old and she's already speaking out on early child marriages. She's doing work of, she's also donating to the needy. She's also doing sanitary wear donations at the age of nine, guys. How inspiring. So for these and more amazing stories, stay tuned to the Genius Kids. I don't know if you know or if you have any Genius Kids that you want to know and you want them to be featured on this show, feel free to contact us on the numbers on our screens. Thank you so much, Shay Nana, for coming all the way from Lawayo. Thank you. I'm told that you'll be going home tonight. Are you going alone? Yeah. You're going by bus? Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about traveling alone? It feels nice. You're not scared? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. All right. Until next time, catch us again, same time, next week on the Genius Kids Show, the only show in the land that spotlights kids of extraordinary talent. as giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.